When the SpaceX Endeavor capsule splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico Sunday afternoon, it marked the first time since 1975 that a manned spacecraft landed safely in the ocean. It also marked the successful conclusion of the first-ever American commercial orbital space mission. Earlier, I spoke with CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood, and I asked him about NASA's partnership with private industry that led to this historic day. The whole idea was, when it became clear that the space shuttle was going to be retired, NASA knew it had to come up with some way to get astronauts up to the space station, as well as supplies. Uh, so back before 2010, they decided they had a competition, and they developed commercially supplied cargo ships. These don't carry people, just cargo up and down. And SpaceX won one of those contracts, and another company, Orbital Sciences, it's now part of Northrop Grumman, won the other. And they've been working throughout this 10 years carrying supplies uh, up to the station, and SpaceX's Dragon capsule brings uh, experiment samples and specimens down. Now, at the same time, they knew they had to come up with a way to get people up to station. So they had a competition. Boeing and SpaceX won. Uh, SpaceX uh, promoted the Crew Dragon spacecraft we saw today. Boeing's building a, a, a capsule called the CST-100 Starliner that will launch atop an Atlas V rocket. Now, they had a test flight uh, last year, but it didn't go well. They had some software problems uh, and, and later uncovered a, a whole string of errors that should have been caught before launch. That's really set them back. They're planning another unpiloted test flight later this year. And if that goes well, then the Starliner will uh, fly with a crew uh, sometime in the next spring, a uh, spring of 2021 time frame. Now, in the meantime, SpaceX has pulled off this first piloted test flight. If it all goes well and their inspection of the spacecraft doesn't turn up any major problems, that's going to clear the way for NASA to certify SpaceX to begin operational flights to and from the space station. Right now, there's a flight scheduled for later this, this fall that will have four astronauts on board. They'll go to the station for a six-month visit, and then they're going to relaunch this very same Crew Dragon spacecraft we're seeing right now today. They're going to refurbish it, relaunch it uh, next spring with another four-person crew, including, by the way, an astronaut named Megan MacArthur. That is Bob Binken's wife. Uh, Bob Binken, of course, landed today in this very same capsule. Uh, it's going to get refurbished, and his wife is going to ride it the next time it goes up. So that's a pretty cool little tidbit. That's a super cool tidbit. <laughs> I think that that is extraordinary. Um, I imagine that she is watching really all is. of this with, uh, with a great deal of interest, not only for um, the return of her husband, Bob Benkin, but also um, because soon Absolutely. she will be the person who is inside this. And, and what other couple can compare space notes, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. Well, so, interestingly, you know, Doug Hurley, the, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 please go for it. I, you have more information well, about this. I, was, I just have questions. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, Doug Hurley's wife is Karen Nyberg. She's a former astronaut. She's a retired NASA astronaut, but she flew aboard the space station as well. So she's not going up on a Crew Dragon down the road, but it's pretty interesting that uh, both men, I mean, all four of these people were, were astronauts.